I would say like let's just go by what exactly auto scaling is and how exactly like Kubernetes team manage auto scaling and when when we talk about that since we we will not just need one server maybe we need multiple servers to run our Kubernetes cluster or maybe clusters. So how exactly you guys go by when we say auto scaling? So um, in Kubernetes, uh, we, we do like if, if you want to go towards uh, maybe AWS based um, Kubernetes solution or Azure based or G cloud based in all of those, uh, there are models which allow you to fully uh, auto scale a Kubernetes cluster, which which um, inherently what it means is that uh, whenever there is a new service to be deployed, uh, your container, uh, it, it would actually check if the pod is already, the, if the node is already there for this new pod to be launched. If it's not, a new node would be allocated and, and the pod would be made available on it, right? So it's it's essentially like, you know, uh, it's, it's growing uh, when there are more services. And similarly, uh, once there's a pod running on some node and, uh, you know, the services are not as being extensively used as they were before and the pods start going off and the services start, you know, shrinking them themselves. So in that case, what happens is all the extraneous nodes, they are like being de deallocated on the parallel as well. So uh, that is one thing uh, that is automatically what the cloud uh, you know, uh, providers are already providing us. So, so th that was an overview of how the cloud providers inherently provide you with some level of auto scale. Now, where, wh where we come in and what we do is uh, we um, implement observability solutions even Im among them to get a more fine-grained uh, understanding of how uh, the, the whole cluster is running and and based on that we decide uh, how many parts and how many services need to be scaled and need to be you know cut down maybe ba based on the how, however the traffic is coming in and however the service requirement is so that's what we do and obviously it's very deeply linked uh, to our uh, observability solutions